New at 430 every year. Pet owners are left searching for their dogs that go missing after the 4th of July. Many organizations have jumped in to lend a hand. That's exactly right. And we have um, William Johnson here, KDK's William Johnson, with several organizations who shared their struggles in trying to track down these dogs and return them home safely. While 4th of July is normally spent having fun, prioritizing pet safety often becomes an annual problem. People don't deserve dogs at all. Lilia is an animal control officer who knows all too well the impact fireworks have on our furry friends. Most of the time, dogs just don't deserve what's done to them. Scared, they make a run for it, searching for shelter away from the loud bangs. And there are sounds that are very much like gunfire and very nearby sometimes, and it's just absolutely terrifying. Deborah is in charge of the SPCA here in East Texas, detailing the difficulties dog owners face in the weeks that follow. You'll see posters on, on poles going up the day after all over town for lost pets. Both the SPCA and the Smith County Animal Shelter helped in the search for these missing pets, trying to track down their owners after these fireworks forced them to flee. We have had tons of calls due to like, hey, have you seen my dog? Or have you picked up anything? Now both organizations are making it their mission to encourage owners to microchip their pets. There are very few dogs that come back with microchips. And um, it's so sad to see these dogs sit here in the shelter and they could be someone's dog and they're probably missing home. Otherwise, these owners may be left looking for their dogs for a long time. It's very hard to see what some of these animals go through leaving them to sit in the shelter behind bars while they wait to come home. William Johnson, KETK News. If you do have a pet, both organizations say, heaven forbid your pet goes missing. The best way to make sure they return home safely is to get them microchipped.